Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at the difference between live shapes and just regular paths in Illustrator. Now this video has come about as a result of a video that I created talking about paths versus compound paths versus shapes. And quite a few people posted as comments in that video asking me what the difference was between a live shape and just a regular path in Illustrator and why you might use one rather than the other. So I thought it was a good idea to have a look at that and we're going to do that in this video. So let's switch to Illustrator. So I have Illustrator open here and I have a brand new document. Doesn't matter how big the document is. We're just going to be looking at live shapes and regular shapes in Illustrator. Live shapes were launched with Illustrator CC 2015. So if you're using an earlier version of Illustrator, you won't have access to them. But let's have a look at them. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool. I'm just going to drag out a rectangle here. It has a stroke of 35. So we're seeing quite a decent sized stroke on this. I'm going to select over this shape with the selection tool and Alt or Option drag a duplicate away. Now this one is a live shape here and I'm going to make this one a regular shape so that we can just see the difference. To turn a live shape into a regular shape, Object, Shape, Expand Shape. So first up you'll see that there's a difference when we select the shape. So this is the live shape and you can see that these little sizing handles are actually inside the shape. There's also little widgets here in the inside corners and we're going to see those in just a minute. Now the regular shape looks quite a bit different. We can see the actual edge of the shape itself. We've got a stroke here. It's over the center of the shape. So if we go to the stroke options here, you'll see that the aligned strokes is to center. So we've got a bit of the stroke on the inside of the shape, a bit on the outside. We've just got the eight sizing handles and a center point and that's pretty much it. The benefit of live shapes is these corner widgets. It's pretty much the most important part of them. Using these corner widgets, you can drag in to make rounded corners. In previous versions of Illustrator, you had to set an effect for a shape to get these rounded corners and you couldn't operate on individual corners. In the new Illustrator CC 2015 and later, you can select over a particular widget, so the widget for this corner only, and I can adjust it to the exclusion of the other corners. So you have the ability to create quite complex shapes from inside Illustrator using live shapes. That said, sometimes people find live shapes just really annoying. And if you're one of those people who finds them particularly annoying, then you're going to have to undo them every time Illustrator creates you one. So you'll have to select over the shape and just choose Object Shape, Expand Shape. And that turns it into just a regular shape behaving exactly as it used to do in earlier versions of Illustrator. Now there's a flip side to this. Let me just drag a duplicate of this shape away. If you're opening a document that was created in an earlier version of Illustrator, but you're working in Illustrator CC 2015 or later, then you can convert existing shapes into live shapes. So this is a regular shape. We just copied it from this one. If we want it to have the same features as the live shape that was created from inside this version of Illustrator, we can do so. Select over it, choose object and then shape and then convert to shape. This converts it to a live shape so it will now behave like another live shape, like it was created in this version of Illustrator. Now when you drag in on these corner handles, if you drag too far beyond which point Illustrator can actually make corners, you'll see this red outline. So that's just telling you you've arrived at as much of a rounded corner as you can achieve for this particular shape. There are some other features of Live Shapes that are handy to know. If you double click on one of these widgets, you'll open up the transform panel that allows you to make changes to the properties of the shape. It's just a handy way of accessing those. If you want to adjust only one corner or one or two corners, you can select over that corner using the direct selection tool. So got this one selected. Now I can adjust it again. The red shape is going to come up as soon as I've got it as far in as it can get. Now there are also different corners that you can use. Let me just go and get this shape again and 
I'll Alt or Option click on a corner. Let's choose this one here. So if I Alt or Option click on this, I change the corner style. Now I'm changing the corner style for all of these corners, although it is possible to do it for individual corners. There are three types of corners. There's the bent out one here, there's this one here, and then if I Alt or Option click on this again, you get the straight corner. So just by Alt or Option clicking on this widget, you're going to change the corner style for the corners, and you're just going to rotate around the three options. Now if you want different corners to have different styles, select over your shape and up here in the control panel you'll go to shape because this opens up the shape options. Now you can get to this also by choosing window and then properties. And from the properties panel here, if you click this icon, you'll open up the shape options. And you can see here that this is the current corner for each of the corners. And if you want to disable the link between these, it's actually already disabled. So we could go to this corner and choose a different type of corner. So that's only affecting this one corner. We come down here and choose a different corner for this one here. When you finish with working with live shapes, you may want to just expand your shape. You can do so by clicking Expand Shape. Now that's going to create it as a shape that has anchor points where all of these different corners are. And for each of these anchor points, of course, there's going to be a set of handles. So you can work between these two options. Probably the most annoying part of live shapes happens when you do lines. So let me just drag out a line and let's go and make a duplicate of that and we'll convert this line into a regular shape. Object, shape, expand shape. This is what lines used to look like in earlier versions of Illustrator. So you could stretch a line, you could make it a little bit wider, make the stroke wider by just dragging on it. Well, you can't do that with these new live shapes. You only need to get three selection points on these new live shapes. And when you drag on this one, you're actually rotating the line. Now that didn't ever happen here with the other one. You can't just rotate it round that way. It just doesn't work that way. If any shape in Illustrator is going to be annoying as a live shape, it's probably going to be lines. So you may want to just think in terms of making your lines into regular shapes whenever you're in Illustrator. But this is really basically the differences between live shapes and regular shapes. You'll be able to tell which is which from the Layers panel because regular shapes like this one here are called paths. You can see I've got it selected, it's a path. If it's a live shape, it's called by whatever live shape name it is. So there's line, we've got a rectangle over here, that's this one here, and these two are paths. One because we made this into a path, this one we edited it while it was a live shape and then expanded it. Now another one of the live shapes that you might be interested in is the polygon. So let's just go to the polygon, I'll drag out a polygon. This one is just a six-sided figure. When I select over it, you'll see that we've got this corner widget so we can drag in on the corners or drag out on the corners. There's also a widget here and this increases or decreases the number of sides. So we can turn a six-sided figure into a four-sided figure by just dragging on this widget. If I make it smaller, it can be a three-sided figure. If we go the other way, we can increase the number of sides. I've got it up to 11 here. The circle or ellipse also has a widget. Let's just make a circle here and you'll see that there's a widget here. If I drag on this widget, I get to make a arc. So let's just take it out to here. As soon as I do that, this end has a widget as well. So it's sort of added. And so you can create these shapes using these widgets to carve up a circle into a smaller portion. You wouldn't be able to do that with a circle or an ellipse that was created as a path. I hope that this has helped you understand live shapes. They're available in Illustrator CC 2015 and later. If they annoy you, it's very easy to convert them into regular shapes. Just select over them, choose Object, Shape and Expand Shape. Just be aware that live shapes are what you're going to get by default and so if you want them to be something else you're going to have to undo whatever it is that Illustrator has done in making them a live shape.
I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.